My name is Chris, I'm 39. I'm an engineer from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. My substance of choice is alcohol. My post-traumatic stress disorder in the last couple of years blew up and I wasn't managing those symptoms and I was self-medicating with alcohol. I did a traditional inpatient detox for 10 days and then a month and a half in a rehab facility and it was all about AA meetings and I was with a population of people that I didn't understand. I won't say it was a waste of time, it just wasn't for me. So when I left um, that program, uh, I relapsed within two weeks pretty hard and then for the next about nine months I was trying to wean myself off of alcohol and found myself about every weekend in the hospital for alcohol withdrawal symptoms. I was a mess. I, I was um, I was defeated, I was depressed, I was on 11 psychotropics and it was starting to take a toll on my job. It was starting to take a toll on my relationship. Um, I started, I, I, I just, I was so beat, I was so beat down. And um, I wouldn't say I was completely hopeless because I knew there had to be something out there that would work. I searched the internet for an uh, alcohol detox program that was outpatient based so that I could maintain my professional life, my life with my partner, um, my, uh, my friendships, my hobbies, all of that, not have to put everything on hold, not be in a bubble. New Beginnings approach is very different um, than other programs I tried. It's, it's very personalized in my opinion. Uh, they didn't look at me as a template or as a default approach. They, they really listened to what didn't work in the past, what my struggles were, what all of my symptoms were, not just the alcohol. What were all of my symptoms that I was going through? And they developed a plan that worked for me. It was discussed that it would be best if, if not only detox from the alcohol, but also detox from the benzodiazepines that I was taking, but also to add the Restore program. And um, it was really appealing to me because the Restore program is two to three times a week. You come in, they hook you up to an IV bag. The bag has vitamins and minerals and amino acids that are the building blocks for the neurotransmitters that have been damaged through the years. But my neurotransmitters were so screwed up from being on so many psychotropics and and just my general symptoms that the idea of feeding the building blocks to my neurotransmitters so that they can start operating a little bit more healthy, um, I was willing to give it a shot. As I progressed through the restore, I noticed I was feeling hyper, really, really hyper. So we started to decrease my antidepressants and, and then we decreased it again and then we decreased it again. And then we started tapering me off all, the red, uh, all of my other medications that I was taking. So I went from 11 psychotropics down to one. One antidepressant, anti-anxiety medication out of 11. That's amazing. I feel really focused. I feel really happy. My concentration level is um, laser beam perfect, especially at work where I do a lot of detailed uh, oriented kind of tasks. I just feel so much more successful at my job. Uh, my outlook is really positive. I feel really hopeful. And I definitely think the Restore is a large part of that. There's no way that I would have been able to taper off so many medications so quickly and still feel this fantastic about my life. There's no way. It, 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 there's no way it could be that way. I just come here for a little bit of time, a few days a week, I get the help I need, and I'm successful. I'm going on three months sobriety. It's the longest period of sobriety I've had in two years. So if, if you are there, if you're listening to this and you're crying and you really wish there was something different 
something different to try. This is what's different to try. This is what is successful. This is what's going to get your life back on track. This is what's going to get you reconnected to the things that you left behind when you decided to pick up the drink and when you decided to shut yourself in the room at night and drink yourself to sleep. That's all that I did. I did that from 7 to 11 p.m. for almost two years every day. Is just ignore my life. I'm not willing to ignore it anymore. And I don't need alcohol. And I'm happy.